In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while. Let's call to mind all our sins and all our failures. Let's ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you realize that we will be judged more strictly, for we all fall short in many respects. If anyone does not fall short in speech, he is a perfect man able to bridle the whole body also. If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we also guide their whole bodies. It is the same with ships, even though they are so large and driven by fierce winds, they are steered by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot's inclination wishes. In the same way, the tongue is a small member and yet has great pretensions. Consider how small a fire can set a huge forest ablaze. The tongue is also a fire. It exists among our members as a world of malice, defiling the whole body and setting the entire course of our lives on fire. Itself set on fire by Gehenna, for every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species. But no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse men who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this need not be so. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will protect us, Lord. You will protect us, Lord. Help, O oh Lord, for no one now is truthful. Faithfulness has vanished from among the children of men. Everyone speaks falsehood to his neighbor. With smooth lips they speak and double heart. You will protect us, Lord. May the Lord destroy all smooth lips, every boastful tongue. Those who say, we are heroes with our tongues, our lips are our own, 
who is Lord uh, over us. You will protect us, Lord. The promises of the Lord are sure, like tried silver, freed from dross sevenfold, refined. You, O Lord, will keep us and preserve us always from this generation. You will protect us, Lord. Please stand. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly looking around, the disciples no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Then they asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He told them, Elijah will indeed come first, and restore all things. Yet how is it written regarding the Son of Man that he must suffer greatly and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Ngayong araw dito sa ating pagbasa, binasa ulit natin yung event, yung tungkol sa transfiguration. Yung nagbago ng anyo si Jesus at nakita nila Pedro, si na Elijah, si uh, Moses at ang Panginoon. At dun sa tuktok ng bundok nakita nila damit ng Panginoon na bumubusilak, sinliwanag ng araw, nakasisilaw. Walang katulad, walang laban sa anumang paglalaba o pagkukula, sa pagbilad, nakakabulag na araw. Linis at liwanag, wagas, dalisay, kumikinang. Sa tuktok pa ng bundok, doon pinamalas. Pinamalas sa mga pinagpalang Pedro, Tiago at Juan. Sa tuktok ng bundok, ang tuktok ng dalanginan. Tagpuan ng langit at lupa. Tagpuan ng mga propetang Moises at Elijah at ng anak ng Diyos. Ang Diyos na naging tao. Nagtagpo ang mga nangaral sa bayang Israel. At ang guro, ang maestro ng katotohanan. Tayo, natagpuan na ba natin ang bundok natin kung saan tayo nakipagtagpo sa Diyos sa ating panalangin? Sadyang kamanghamang nga ang pangitain pinamalas kina Pedro, Tiago at Juan. Nakakahibang ang pagkakamangha. 
nag-uumapaw ang saya sa di inaasahang kababalaghan. Napahiyaw kaya ang nawalang, nawala namang tunog? Humalakhak kaya sila? Nawala namang tinig? Malamang naghabol ng hininga sa paghingal. Puso kaya'y kumabog-kabog? Dumagundong? Niyanig kaya ang kanilang buong pagkatao? Butil-butil na pawis? Di kaya mapigil ang tumagaktak sa ligaya, sa pagkamangha, sa galak. It is good that we are here. Nawi ka na lang di na namalayang sinasabi. Dito na lang tayo. Let's make three tents. We can ni Pedro. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Tents. Silungan para sa tatlo. Sarili. Sarili nila Pedro, nila Juan at ni Tiago, sariling kapakanan, nalimutan. Bukod pa sa pangitain, may tinig pang narinig mula sa ulap na sa kanila lumilim. This is my beloved son, wika ng tinig sa kulimlim. Listen to him. At sila ngay nakinig, nang nakinig, nang nakinig. Sa bawat salita, bawat kwento, bawat aral. Naging saksi sila sa mga milagrong pagpapagaling, milagrong nagpuno sa mga sikmurang kumukulo. Ginawang alak ang tubig sa banga para ang bagong kasal di mapahiya. Tunay, tunay ngang kalugod-lugod, anak ng Diyos na bugtong, tunay na mandiligtas, tunay na Panginoon. Ngunit bakit paglaon kung kailan mas kailangan Sina Pedro, Tiago at Juan, di matagpuan, di naasahan. Ang pinuno, tumangging siya kasama. Ang iba naman naglaho, nagtago, takot na madamay. Kung gaano kalalim ang ligay sa pangitain, siya namang lalim ng pangamba at takot para sa sariling kapakanan. Tayo, kailan natin iniwan ang Panginoon? Kailangan, kailan natin pinabayaan ang Panginoon. Hindi pala sapat maging saksi lamang sa pangitain sa bundok, makita ang pagpapagaling sa may sakit, makakain ng tinapay na pinarami, at makatikim ng alak mula sa banga. Kahit marinig ang mga aral ng pagtitiwala at pagtitiyaga, aral ng pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit, Aral ng pagpapatawad at pagpapatuwid. Kailangan tuluyang pagbabago, tuluyang pagbusilak, hindi lamang ng damit, kundi ng pagkatao, ng ugali, ng buhay. Tuluyang pagtulad sa buhay ng anak ng tao, anak ng Diyos. Tuluyang nakatoon sa liwanag, sa katotohanan, sa katarungan, sa tiwala, Tuluyang nakikinig at isinasabuhay ang salita ng Diyos. Nang sa huli, tayo man ay masasabihang, This is my beloved son, my beloved daughter. Maririnig kaya natin ito. Let us all stand now. When our Redeemer was transfigured before Peter, James, and John on the mountain, they saw the glory of God. Let us seek God's favor in our prayers, and after each petition we say, Father, fill us with your glory. Father, fill us with your glory. That the leaders of the church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your glory. That the transfiguration of Jesus may make us aware of God's constant presence and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your glory. That we may aspire to be in the company of God with Mary and the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your glory. That the transfigured Christ may be a sign of encouragement to those burdened with sickness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your glory. That our beloved dead may enjoy the blessed vision of divine glory. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, fill us with your glory. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your glory. Heavenly Father, increase our faith as we make our journey through difficult moments of life. Help us to recognize your presence in the people we live with and your hand in everyday events. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. found of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for a prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace. 
which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed, and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God, according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you.